most fairy tales go a certain way. The princess is living a horrid and boring life. There's always an evil being after her when the prince comes to save her. They fall in love, get married, then live happily ever after. But wait! This fairy tale is different. This story princess grows up on Earth, of all places. She finds her way back to her birth realm and takes her rightful place on the throne. But this wouldn't be a fairy tale without a Prince Charming. Now would it? All right, class. We have roughly 10 minutes until I can get rid of your little hormones. Let's get started on the exit ticket. Hi, I'm Winter Hart, and my life is normal. Well, as normal as any teenager's life is gonna get, until today. Today is my birthday, and tonight everything changes. This is the story of how my life changed and was never the same again. So I hope you're comfortable, because this class gets boring very quickly. And welcome to Winter's Life, to Winter's Life, to Winter's Life. Winter Hart. Winter Heart! Winter Heart! Great. Back to reality. Yes, Miss Hart. Welcome back to the depressing reality y'all kids see the Kaya's everyday lives. <coughs> Miss Hart, I appreciate you stop giving your love for double boyfriend over there lovey dovey eyes and pay attention to class. Please answer the equation on the board. <laughs> Miss Bottomley. For one, I am not dating Damien. Really. Him? Of all people? <laughs> no. I was looking over to him because he cleared his throat loudly. For two, no one. I repeat, no one says lovey-dovey anymore. Scratch that. No one in their right mind has ever said that. And last and definitely least, the answer to the equation on the board is y equals negative 5 over 3x plus 20. This bottom leaf. Am I wrong? No, he's hired. As always, you are correct. Miss Bottomley, it's three minutes until the bell rings. Do we turn in our homework now or do you want it on Monday? <laughs> you really think she's going to answer that question? Monday it is. And hey, everyone, do not forget about my party tonight. <laughs> Darling, who is this? He bothering me? I don't know, but he was just leaving. Weren't you? Honey, calm down. 
Who's your friend? He is not my friend. I'm Blake Spotsman. <laughs> that is the most ridiculous name in the world. Says the girl named Winter Hard Get out of my face. Okay, let's end the party and we can resolve this little argument. Everyone out, the party's over. Oh, come on, it's just started. Come on, kiddo, I want to your pants scratching around here. Once you two get your little argument settled, we still need to talk to you from earlier. Whatever, Mom. Now what? I'll say I'm leaving, but I'll stay close just in case. <laughs> I don't know who you are or what you're playing at here, but what I do know is you will not leave my sight until you tell me what the heck is going on here. And if I decide that you're telling the truth and not drunk, I will refrain from calling the cops. Fine by me. I don't know how to put this. There's no sugar coating next week, right? So here you go, Morgan. Honey, we didn't. We didn't get back to you. What? You're adopted. What do you mean I'm adopted? <laughs> We're not your parents, sweetie. Really. <laughs> Are y'all crazy? And also, you're a mermaid. I'm a mermaid. <laughs> so you mean what that psychopath over there said is true? Yes. Okay, Winter, I understand you're confused and upset, but- Confused? I was just told in the same day that I'm adopted and a mermaid princess. I know. Can we- Please sit down and talk about this. Winter. No. Please be reasonable. If you walk out now, you won't be able to see. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have to listen to you. You're not my mother. Why does she have to insist doing the exact opposite of what we tell her to do? Because, hon, she's a teenager. Us old folks will never understand. Wait, look out! You want to fall down the well! Hello, Your Majesty. Who are you? I'm Frostbite Moon, Princess. Okay. Where am I? Oh, you're in the underground lair. The evil master kidnapped you and he plans to turn you to one of the sirens. What? You have to help me! That's what I'm here to do. Wait. What are the sirens? Well, we are all mermaids. We are the good creatures of Aqua Nation. But the sirens are the bad creatures. Well, if you're a mermaid, what are you doing in the sirens evil lair? I caught word that the long lost princess was found on this wretched planet, so I had to see for myself. So what? You coincidentally came across me in a Siren's evil lair and what? Decided to save me like a damsel in distress? Well, I saw you running through the woods and you fell on the well. I jumped in and overheard some henchmen talking. Turns out one of them was my old friend and he said he'll keep me updated until we can get out. You claim to have stumbled across this place and you already know how to sneak out. I have a friend on the inside, remember? I don't know how to thank you. Will you marry me? We just met. Well, I've known about you for a long time, and I find you fascinating. I also believe in love at first sight. You too. So? about the king's siblings, leaders of the dark side. Legend has it that the firstborn princess will fall in love, marry the king, and... And what? The prophecy says you'll marry the king and kill the princess. Well, clearly the prophecy's wrong. I am not capable of murder. Maybe. Let's get you some more You shouldn't be safe here until one. I 
love you, and I know it makes no sense, but it turns out I was never really in love before. I grew up in an unpleasant environment, so I never knew what love was until I met you. Frostbite, it's okay, I love you too, and you're right, it doesn't make any kind of sense, except for the fact that we're somehow fairy tale characters, so it kind of does. But who cares? We're engaged. We can just take things slow. Winter, this is big scary henchman. Are you holding hands? Yep. Are you dating? Kinda. What do you mean kinda? We're engaged. I see it. You do? Yeah, the way I look at him, you're in love. <laughs> you say that like it's normal to fall in love with someone you just met. We are fairy tale characters, it is normal. I am never getting over being a mermaid. But it makes no sense. Earlier you said you were in love with me. Oh, I am, but if you're happy, then that's all that matters. Me and Frost will go way back. Let's get out of here. Your parents have police looking for you. Yeah. Me and, Fr me and Blaze are best buds. Let's get out of here. I'm sorry, what just happened? Wait! We need to fake the princess's death, or these police people will be out here a lot longer than they are trying to find her. We also can't let her parents know that she's here. That's a bit dramatic, don't you think? I mean, we could do something, I don't know, less deadly. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we're gonna find her. Oh my gosh. Evan, she's gone! She's gone, Evan. And it's all our fault. We should have told her sooner. We should have told her she was adopted. We should have told her she was a mermaid. We should have told her she was adopted by us after the awkward nation of populace. Before Rosalind and Bro Raymond were captured by the dark side just in case anything happened to her. The princess is gone and we'll be sent to prison for losing her. <gasps> Winter? I cannot believe you two. You lied to me. You knew. You knew I was a mermaid and you knew I was the princess. You knew and never even bothered to tell me. I trusted you with my life. I told you all my secrets and all my problems, but you kept who I was for me. What type of people do that to a kid? The type of people who wouldn't have been sent to prison if we didn't. We were not allowed to tell you. And even if we were, it was not until your 18th birthday in Earth years, so you would be single as queen and not allowed to get married. <laughs> Whether I get married or not is not your decision to make. It's mine. It's not your decision until you turn 19. Says who? Says us. I'm a mermaid ball. Yeah? Well, I'm the princess, and I make the rules now. What I say goes. So I can get married when I want to whoever I want. I'm engaged, by the way. You're not engaged. You're not even responsible enough to be dating yet. Really, you can ignore me, don't they? Oh. But I am. Isn't that right, Frostbite? Yes. This is proof you're not responsible enough to be clean, let alone dating. You just can't do that. Can't yeah, she just say an awful mention of book page 177 states that if the heir to the throne gets to page 5 days before the coronation day, they can get married, no matter what rules are applied to prince or princess prior to the coronation. As future queen in winter can decide when the coronation can be considered in these circumstances. You can't argue with logic. You love that book. Good, now that all oh, that's over with, we're engaged and we need to fake her death. We would be doing nothing of the sorts. There's no reason to. If she's coming back to rule her kingdom, then she needs to disappear as a human. Just tell the cops she's been at her friend's house all the time, take her out of school, tell them she's moving with their aunt and uncle and friends. You think they'll be so stupid to believe that? She's mm -hmm. like stupid enough to believe it. That's true. That's not even my biggest concern right now. You two getting married is. That's outrageous. Who cares about the rules? You're only 16 and you just met him. You're telling me you want to get married to a stranger? You don't even have a wedding ring yet. I am not going to keep arguing with you on this topic. Me and Frostbite are getting married. Get over it! And I am wearing a ring. <laughs> okay. That's not a ring. It is so! <laughs> Enough, you two. Let the poor girl get married. Let her have the ring she wishes, even though it's unnecessarily huge. Evan and I will get rid of the police. You should go get, you should go to Aqua Nation and get settled with. Me and Evan will clean up this mess on Earth. Alright, I think the princess has a right to see her home run. 
or we could go back to the freaky land, the whale, and then have to go home and face my mom telling me that I missed her birthday. <laughs> You're delusional. We're going to Aqua Nation. All right, let's go then. But I'm nervous. Don't be. I'm here with you. Okay. Let's go. This is just my room. What? Just your room? Yeah, it's not as big as people with lots of money, but my mom doesn't really work for anyone anymore. But that's why it's so small. But I still like it. If this is small, what was my human house? A dollhouse? More like a kitchen in a really cheap dollhouse. Crossbite? Honey, are you home? Yes, Mom. I'm great. What? I bet your parents are super sweet. Yeah, but if she doesn't know that you're here, or my fiance, or the long lost princess, it'll be fine. I mean, I, I bet she's super understanding. Are they even coming? It sounded like they were right outside the door. Well, it's just my mom. My father died 10 years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's all right, but my mom is just down the hall, and she should be coming in right about now. That's funny. Who's this? Uh, Mom, this is the rightful heir to the throne, the long lost princess. The long lost princess? Well, in that case, greetings, Your Majesty. <laughs> Frostbite, what is the Royal Highness doing in our humble abode? She's my, um. I'm his fiance. Fiance? <laughs> You're his fiance? We fell in love. Are you sure he didn't, pr like, prank you into drinking some love potion? Mom! What? You've never brought a girl back to the house before and now you're claiming that you're engaged to the long lost princess? If you were in my shoes, you'd be just as suspicious as I am. I'm sorry to intrude, Miss Moon, but we fell in love. It, it was love at first sight. He saved me from a horrible death from the Siren King, I'm sure he said. And you at least have to understand that much. And if he tricked you into drinking some wild potion, or y'all are actually in love. Mom! Either way, my son will be king. How exciting. Mom! What? Am I embarrassing you, Frostbite? I just wanted you to meet her before I take her back to the order board. And go to her house. Mom, I need to take the princess home. I'll be back. Okay, be responsible. We will, Mother. It was nice to meet you, Miss Moon. It was nice to meet you too, Your Highness. <laughs> Let's go, my lady. Let's see the same block, don't you think? It's all right, we'll get in. We have to teleport in. Whoa! <laughs> you were right. <laughs> my house is bigger than yours. Yeah, it is. So, I mean, other than this being my house and all, why are we here? Well, first of all, I did want to see, I wanted you to see your house. And also, the order board leader is going to meet us here. I'm sorry, what's an order board? Well, it's kind of like the mermaid government. Oh, okay, so where are we meeting this magical mermaid government thingy? Order board leader, and she'll be meeting us in here. In my room? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Why? I mean, it's not every day you get told that the leader of the government is going to be in your bedroom. Well, it's normal here in Aqua Nation. Yeah, okay. Anyways, she should be here any minute now. All right. Good evening, Your Majesty. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Miss Government Order Leader Person. It's nice to see you again. Mr. Moon? Same to you, Leader Rose. So, I believe we're here to discuss my coronation? Yes. Oh, Your Highness, you remind me so much of your mother. Excuse me for my outburst. I just couldn't help myself. Speaking of which, um, I've never met my parents. Well, not my biological ones, anyway. I think they would be the first to welcome me. I believe I speak for all of Aqua Nation when I say it is Mr. Moon's responsibility to tell you about your parents. I thought you were the government, or order board, whatever. 
Why is it his responsibility when he's my fiance? Princess, for all we know is that your parents could have been captured during the war. The siren has no reason to keep them alive, and I have no way to check for sure. I am so sorry. It's getting late, and you should get some rest. We can meet again tomorrow morning to discuss the wedding and coronation plans. Yeah, today's been a lot for her. I'll make sure she gets the proper rest. All right, Mr. Moon. Make sure she's okay before you leave. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's just fine. You look tired. Let's get you to bed. Would you be dear and grab me a blanket? Well, I don't know where your blanket is. The closet. So, how do you know that? <laughs> where are blankets supposed to be? Okay. Hi. Get a blanket. <laughs> That's my prince. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're welcome, princess. And can you stay for a while? Just until I fall asleep. I mean, you don't have to. It's just a suggestion. Well, my parents won't like if I'm out too late, but it depends on what they say. Let me ask them. <laughs> Hello, Mom. Hello, son. The princess wants to know if I can stay at her place tonight. Um, sure. Just make sure to be responsible. Mom, chill. We will be responsible. Okay, sorry. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What's wrong? I mean, I just found out that my parents are dead. Usually I'd be mad or upset about people lying to me, but I'm actually kind of bummed. I never knew them, and I never will. Yeah, I know. It sucks, but you're strong. You'll get through it. Maybe. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. Yes, princess? Good night, my prince. Good night, princess. Oh, and thanks for the blanket. You're welcome. Good morning, princess. What time is it? It's 10. What? We were supposed to meet the order board at 7. It's all right. I already went to meet them at 7. Without me? Frostbite, come on. We're getting married. We need to be doing things like this together. I wanted you to sleep in. I am going to tell you what happened, but you need to promise me that you're going to calm down. Fine. So, are we having the coronation or the wedding first? The coronation. The coronation is planned on Thursday, and the wedding is planned on the day after Friday. So Saturday? What's a Saturday? The day after Friday! Huh? Never mind. Who's planning those things? The Order World Leader. She'll be doing everything behind the scenes while you get to sit back, relax, and be a role model for the nation. You mean all I have to do is sit around all day wearing a tiara? That doesn't sound too queenly. Not really. It's normal here in Aqua Nation. Yeah, okay. Anyways, we have somewhere to be. We do? Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, you too! I can't believe you guys are rare people! We can't believe you're the princess. I can't believe our future king is so high. Really, Sam? Her name's not Sam. Mine's not Sam either. Well, what are your names? Eclipse. Lunar. So, like the solar lunar eclipse? Yeah, basically. We were born during an eclipse, so our parents named us Lunar and Eclipse. Anyways, let me introduce you everyone. This is Blizzard. Blaze's twin sister, and this is their little sister, Snow. Oh, look! The princess brought her boyfriend! <laughs> Wait! Your cousin's engaged to the princess. That must hurt. Snow, stop. Are you going back home to mom? Ugh, you're just mad because your boyfriend hasn't asked you to marry him yet. You and Eclipse are dating? Well... Oh, yeah. They've been dating since, like, forever, and if they don't get married soon, I'm literally going to die. Especially with how cuddly and mushy they are. Bleh. Snow, keep your nosy selves out of people's love lives and get your own. You can't be talking. You don't even have one. I think Snow should go home before everyone ends up wanting to kill this little girl. You have some nerve talking to me like that. Remind me, where's... Your husband again? You're married? He's busy. 
doing what exactly? I'm not having this conversation with an underage mermaid. Is it here at Arctic's house? Just him and her alone in the same room, making sure her sink was fixed? I wonder what they're really up to. <laughs> Don't make me use my power. What's his power? Paralysis. He can paralyze anyone for 30 seconds just by making eye contact. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, it is dangerous, but she's able to fly back with hers. Well, what's her power? Volcano. So, <laughs> you mean if she gets too mad, she erupts and there's a lava explosion? No, her power allows her to create lava and use it however. Let go of me, brother, or I'll burn you. Do you want a haircut? I can trim a little off the side. Try to see how bad the bet is. Is that a bet, brother? Challenge accepted. Hey, Chris, you didn't have done that. That was so uncalled for. You didn't have to paralyze her over a harmless threat about hair. Uh-oh. Huh. Just a harmless threat about hair? This is just hair. You don't mind if I cut off half of your hair? Uh-oh. It's just hair. <laughs> I'm breathing. You touch my hair on her head and you're dead. Don't you dare talk to the princess like that. That's your future queen. Have her respects, low life. That's enough, you two. How about this stuff kid along? Why should they? You started this? I didn't start the crap. This is your little sister's fault for bringing a bratty little girl. My sister's just a child. She doesn't like my personality. That's what she does. You can't just go candy around murder people every time they get on our nerves. She can at least have some self control. She's old enough to do that. Who are you to tell my sister what she can do and cannot do? Stop! All of you. It is my second day as a mermaid, and all of my friends and boys are trying to kill each other. Okay, I should take a snow before she gets someone killed. Good idea. While I do that, I'll freeze my boyfriend. I'm not trying to kill each other. Or I'll put all of y'all in ice. Come on. I thought we were going to play a game. We are just uh, with you. Why? Because you're going to get someone killed. Uh. I'm freezing now. That's delightful. <laughs> no way. Oh this is done. Ghost you two. <laughs> Can't you get along? No. Why not? These two knuckleheads will never get over themselves. And I'm getting bored. Let's play a game. So, what exactly are we playing? Truth or dare, or else we have to call it truth or lie. Um, Either you drink the truth potion or the lie potion, they both last 24 hours. The truth potion makes you tell the truth, and the lie potion makes you say the opposite of what you mean. What's the blue one? Truth. I'd rather really spill all of my secrets to you than make y'all say the opposite of what I mean. So I'm guessing that means that the green one is the light potion? Yep. I'm not good at the question. Yeah, 
that must be a funny coincidence, huh? You have the same name as the Cyberman, and you're already the Cyberman. I could say what's from all the times by myself, thank you very much. Was getting arrested a part of that genius plan of yours? Okay. We're not doing this. We're gonna go before, you know, Calm down, the Frostbite Hills Hey, is, don't wait um, to do this, right? Yes, ma'am. So, yeah. we'll see you guys tomorrow for the coronation. Bye. Ladies, you're having everyone crazy. What time is it? It's not 51. What? You have to be in the main hall at 10! Can you relax? We have nine minutes. All we have to do is go down the hall and take a left and we're there. You really like being late to things. One. And two? Come on! Do you know how long it takes to get ready when you're a girl? Can you relax? The coordination's in your house. Even if it does take you a long time, it's not gonna take that long just to get there when it's in your house. Do you even know how long the hallway is that we have to walk down? It's only a mile long. Only! Did you forget that we could teleport? No, but... Then why are you so freaked out? Because I'm scared. What if... What if I can't be this amazing queen that everyone expects me to be? What if I screw it up and can't follow in my parents' footsteps? I just... I don't want to let everyone down. No disrespect to your ancestors, but you'll be the best queen that ever lived. You're right. I'm gonna make mermaid history. After me, Your Highness. I, Winter Heart, I, Winter Heart, solemnly pledge, solemnly pledge, I will lead this nation, I will lead this nation, with a pure heart and open mind, with a pure heart and open mind. May I present to you for the first time, Queen Winter Heart. Because they have done nothing to harm us. This is why they never help you. You 
always have the wrong intentions. The reason why the reason why good they have done nothing to harm us. So why are you always sit on the same board? You never help me. When you do, you always ruin everything purposely. Because you were evil, brother. Not to my sickness, but he will never win. She's awake! You better not be joking. She's been in a coma for three weeks. No, I just wish Frost ready to see it. What? What do you mean? Did you miss the part you were in a coma for three weeks? <laughs> no, I caught that. But I don't care. Where's Frostbite? You have a bruised rib. You have to lay back down. No. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Y'all are going to tell me what's going on. And where's Frostbite? Lay back down. Do not tell me what to do. Where's my fiance? If you lay back down, I'll tell you. What part of I don't care about you to understand? You want to set back your hand time by four lot feels that you're stubborn non school down. Can you just shut up and tell me where my fiance is? He's burned out, okay? Don't you want to hear? <laughs> no. He can't be. There has to be something the doctors can do. Winter, they tried already. Well tell him to try harder! Winter, they've tried, I've tried, he's gone. No. He has to wake up. I love him! Please, there has to be something you can do. Respect my only son. This is the queen's fault! She fought for my son and now he's dead! It should have been her. I must have heard you wrong. I love Frostbite more than you ever could! I'm the queen! Have some respect! I don't care! If you're the queen or not! Frostbite is dead because of you! You're a ticking time bomb! I am his mother! Don't you dare talk to me about love! You done yet? Because I'm his fiance. And if you can get your sorry self out of here, I can do something you can't. <laughs> what would that be? Wake him. Is something wrong? No. She just needs to rest for a while, and she'll be as good as new as soon as you wait. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome, son. Do you have any idea what to have to have your sister screw everything important up? If Winter ever gets injured again, Kayden is going to pay. Take me to Frostbite. You aren't completely awake yet. Oh, what is up with you? You act like there's nothing anyone can do to help him. You think I like the thought of my cousin dying? Of course not. You care about him just as much as I do, and you want him to wake up too. I've had a lot of time thinking, Winter, when you would wake up. You wouldn't give me a second chance. You would go right back to my cousin. I'm jealous and I still love you. But I'm sorry, I've done everything. He's gone. But we can always try. One more thing. And what would that be? True love's kiss. We are mermaids, right? So, we should have that fairy tale magic. When I mean we tried everything, his mom already tried that. Her? Well, there's your problem. It has to be his mate, someone he loves in a romantic way, with pure hearts and no selfishness. But it only works if they both love each other equally, with no... Yeah. Do you really think that works? It works with Sookie Beauty! Come on! Alright, if this works, and that's true love, what does that even mean? She's the first royal princess. I need her. The prophet says so. If that's true love, I'm gone. They, they say that you're brain dead, and then you'll never wake up. But I believe true love's kiss will work. And if this doesn't, I swear on my life, I will not stop fighting to save you until the day I die. Frostbite? Frostbite, please, are you awake? I need you. Frostbite is dead because of you! He's never going to wake up again. And if he ever does, you will never be allowed near him ever again. This is my chance. I can finally show her how much I care. Don't talk to her like that. She's your future queen. Have some respect. It wasn't his evil plan to kill him. It was. Frostbite made his choice. He's trying to protect her. 
So check yourself because when Frostbite wakes up, there'll be nothing in the way of you separating them. I am your aunt. Watch your tongue, young man. No one cares. Just because they're late doesn't mean I have to do anything you say. Princess? <laughs> That's clear to you, mister. You'll always be princess to me. I've lost. Frostbite, how are you? Thanks for being the worst mom in the world. You realize the only reason why you're not in prison right now is because you're my mom. I'm ashamed to be your son. <laughs> what, you want me to come crawling home to Mother Dearest who hates my fiance and disrespected the queen? Frostbite, I will not stand for this. Then go complain to the order boy. They're on her side. Exactly. I am your mother. You will not talk to me like this if you <laughs> live under my roof. You're not my mother. You're just some mermaid who gave birth to me. <laughs> Nothing more. Get out of my face. Y'all will never be allowed in the moon house ever again. Fine by me. Bye, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh, Frostbite, you're awake. Yeah, all thanks to the queen. You know I love you, right? You're the reason why I'm alive right now. Never, never forget that. I won't. Good. Now it's time for me to finally complete my promise. <laughs> you didn't promise me anything. I did. I promised as soon as I woke up, I'll get married to you as soon as possible. <laughs> what? We're getting married tomorrow. What? Only if you want to. I do. Let's go. Hey. Um, what It's 15 minutes till your wedding starts and you're already dozing off. She could help knowing that the guy she's finally married is right next door. That is so not true. I remember my first wedding. Though, I don't remember someone who's completely in love with me walking me down the aisle. Okay, to be fair, Blaze is the only other guy in my life right now. And I think it'd just be weird for a girl to walk me down the aisle. I respect that, but why not ask Eclipse? Those two will kill! each other before she can even get halfway down the aisle. Before you even hit the aisle. Mm -hmm. Alright, Winter, I think you're just about ready. Um, go get your dress up. Blizzard, can you help me? Of course, come on! You look nervous. I mean, it's just a bit of wedding jitters, you know, the usual. Everything will be fine. <gasps> Is that the dress you're wearing? It's yeah. gorgeous. I'm assuming it was the one my mom wore at her wedding. Even though your mom was queen, this is one impressive dress. You yeah. have nothing to worry about. Today is your day. Nothing can go wrong. Maybe you're right. I mean, I am marrying Frostbite. He is super cute. Okay, Sam, yeah. back off. It's my wedding day! It's okay. I can't steal him. I'm married too. Well, then maybe I should be calling your husband. Oh. Oh. Uh, Okay. Alright, Winter, you gotta fucking leave. Are you calling me fat? Are y'all outside? No, I'm a zipper pumpkin. I got it. Alright, alright. Um, I'm gonna go tell everyone you're ready. Alright. Her Highness will start. 
Please repeat after me. I winter heart. I winter heart. Take you frostbite little moon. Take you frostbite little moon. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I promise to stay by your side. I promise to stay by your side. Through troubling times and peaceful times. Through troubling times and peaceful times. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Mr. Moon, please repeat after me. I frostbite will move. I frostbite will move. Take you, winter, winter heart. Thank you, winter heart. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I promise to stay by your side. I promise to stay by your side. Through troubling times and peaceful times. Through troubling times and peaceful times. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For those who object to this marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> no one? Okay. Do you frost by moon? Take winter heart to be your lovely wedded wife. I do. Do you winter heart take frost by moon as your lovely wedded husband? I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. So that's how it ends. I mean, one day I go from being an average high school teenage girl, answering math equations, which by the way, I don't regret leaving that, to being a mermaid princess. No, not princess. Queen. And now I get to live out my happily ever after. Or do I? They lived happily ever after.